family. So right now I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys and I'm going to be doing um, makeup for beginners. Um, I feel like this, I'm going to do like a basic look that I feel like it's such an easy process, especially if you are just starting to get into makeup and you just want to start exploring with makeup. I feel like the things that I'm going to show you guys in this video are some basic steps and basic um, makeup that you're going to need. If you are starting to get interested in doing your makeup, whether you're just getting into your teen years and you're starting to really watch makeup videos and you want to start wearing makeup, I'm pretty much going to show you guys how simple and how inexpensive it could be to get um, makeup if you want to start wearing it, whether you're younger, older. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give this video a fat thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so always be notified of my videos. And comment what you guys think of this video for makeup for beginners. And let me know if it's too much makeup or if it's too little makeup. Because I know for beginners, I personally didn't like too much makeup on my face. But everybody's different. And if you guys do want to see another makeup for beginners video or a more dramatic one, then let me know down in the comments. But without further ado, let's get this started. So the first thing I like to use is this foundation. Um, some of you guys don't have to use foundation, but personally when I was younger, I used to get um, foundation from the 99 cent store, which sounds really silly. But if you have a guardian that supports makeup, um, definitely ask them and I'm sure they will buy you makeup but the first thing I like to do is just spread out the foundation all over and not fully blend it so I feel like for beginners you should give yourself more of a glowy look because you are young or if you're older whatever it is so make sure you give you guys self a little glow so I like to use this NYX born to glow makeup look, um, makeup highlighter. That way it's not too matted on your face and it's more of a glow, um, light foundation on your face. It barely looks like I'm wearing any. Um, and that's what you want. You don't want too much makeup on your face, especially if you're younger. But if you're older, um, if you if you have like acne problems, then if you feel comfortable, whatever you guys are comfortable with of how much foundation you want to use on your face, it's your preference. Um, personally, when I was younger and as I grew older, I was not a big foundation person. Like I was just so against it for some reason. Um, I was just so scared that my my face was going to break out from it because, you know, when you're younger, you start going through puberty and your skin starts changing. So, if you guys are wondering, I do use the Fit Me Foundation. This is drugstore. It is very inexpensive. And I also use this NYX Born to Glow um, Liquid Illuminator. So, if you guys want, use these two and it will definitely give you a nice glow to your face. Um, so yeah, I definitely suggest that. The next thing, when I was younger, I didn't wear concealer at all. I didn't even know. Honestly, funny thing is, when I was younger, I did not know nothing about makeup. I didn't even watch makeup videos. But as I got older, when I hit puberty, I got interested in makeup. But I feel like very, very, very lightly, and don't put too much, on your face because you don't want it to take away from looking natural. And if you guys, whatever you guys prefer to put your foundation on, um, I feel like the beauty blenders are definitely better if you want more of a nice blended look but not too much where it looks like you just look like a plastic doll. that makes sense see so I don't know if you guys can tell but um 
my makeup is glowing not too much on my face it doesn't take away anything on my face okay so the next thing is hydrate your face um, I feel like the glow to your face um, the illuminator the liquid illuminator definitely gives you a nice glow but when you do hydrate your face it definitely gives it a nice glow so let's just spray this on let it dry and then I like to go back in with my beauty blender and just damp away that way my face looks very hydrated so if you're like younger and you want to start getting into makeup these are definitely products I'm gonna suggest um, if you have a parent that doesn't want you really wearing makeup like that um, I would definitely suggest this little bit of makeup just because it's not too much and it doesn't take away from being young you know what I mean so the next thing I used to use this tremendously tremendously it is this clear transparent great lash so you could use this on your regular lashes but I used to use this on my eyebrows a lot and it is like five bucks in your local CVS your Walmart um, Walgreens Rite Aid if Rite Aid's still around um, wherever you guys like to get your makeup, um, it's even in Ulta, but I definitely, when I was younger, I used to go to Walgreens or CVS a lot to get my makeup. This was, like, one of my favorite products, um, to use when I was, like, 13, which is crazy to say, but it definitely pulls your eyebrows together. Obviously, you guys can tell. So... I feel like the next thing that I used to do, so I used to wear eyeliner on my waterline, but there was times that when I was younger, I just wore mascara. So, um, I'm going to suggest this, two mascaras. So, this is a voluminous primer for your eyelashes. It makes it more look longer and more volumized. So, if you guys don't prefer wearing eyeliner and you rather just wear mascara um, I definitely suggest this because it makes your lashes super long as you guys can tell my lashes are really long already and make sure you spread it out that way it doesn't look clumpy I don't know what that is I've been using this product on my eyelashes and I've noticed a change in my lashes dramatically before you could my lashes weren't even really visible it's crazy so make sure you spread it out don't stick it together spread it out okay you could even use this on your bottom lashes if you guys prefer Okay, so you gotta wait for like two minutes to let it dry out. Um, usually I put it on right away because I like more of my lashes not to look like clumpy. So I use this Telescoptic L'Oreal and I got this also from CVS. Um, when I was younger I used to wear the this brand Maybelline a lot. Great, um... Maybelline, I used to wear a lot when I was younger. This is also Maybelline. So, oh no, this is L'Oreal. <laughs> Funny. Um, so I definitely suggest that if you guys are looking for a good lash, um, mascara. Um, I personally have always had like a weird thing with mascara where I've wanted um, my lashes to look really long see what's happening is like I don't want them to get stuck together so we gotta work wow my lashes are really long
spread them out nicely. I think it's the reflection to the light that's why it looks so long unless I'm bugging. Hold on. I want to see because I've been using this product and if it's working, your girl's going to start using it a lot more. Wow. I have to definitely clean this up because I didn't even realize. Wow. My lashes did grow a lot. That's impressive. But they are starting to get stuck, so once they start getting stuck to each other, definitely make an attempt to move it around and stuff like that. You see how long this is taking me just for my lashes? How ridiculous, right? Let me look at my camera, because I can't tell if I'm putting it on correctly. Wow, my lashes grew tremendously the faces we make just to see are like to do our makeup is ridiculously funny wow I am so shook right now how much my lashes grew guys like I've been wanting my lashes to grow because they've been falling out tremendously and um, it's been like really hard for me to get back into like mascara and stuff. That's why I've been using so many false lashes. But I am really, really happy right now. Wow. I'm shook. I'm feeling myself. And if you guys don't prefer to put it on your bottom lashes, that is totally okay. Everybody has a different preference, like I said. Um, personally, I like it on my bottom lashes. Because I think it's really cute. Like, it gives it, like, a cat look. Meow. <laughs> so. I'm the only person in America that's probably ever used their phone as a mirror. How ridiculous, right? I'm just joking. I'm probably not the only person. This is taking me forever. I feel like this is going to make the video super long because I can't stop playing with my lashes. There we go. Wow. I am super impressed. Like, I'm so happy I bought that product. If you guys are curious, check out my nighttime skincare routine. Um, I used it... And I will let you guys know where I got it. Okay, so the last thing I used to do a lot. And I used to get clear lip gloss always from the 99 cent store. And I have this since the last time I went to New York. Because I love clear lip gloss. And I feel like the 99 cent ones are so thick. And this one is very thick. But I feel like if I give myself a little bit of lip liner, I'll definitely give my lips a nice... um bigger look to it, if that makes sense. Okay. So now we're going to go in with the lip gloss. So it has like this cute little brush to it. I feel like clear lip gloss is definitely, see makeup has changed dramatically over the years and when I went to middle school, lip gloss was a thing and clear lip gloss, not that I followed any trends but I used to wear clear lip gloss all the time when I was a kid. I feel like that was such a good makeup. Especially for your age. Oh 
Okay guys, so this is the final makeup look. Super simple, super sweet, super basic. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup for beginners video. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my makeup. And let me know if I put too much on my face because I feel like I put a good amount. I don't feel like it's too dramatic and too much. Um, but do, if you guys do, like I said, want to see a dramatic makeup for beginners look, I will definitely do that for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.